Hey guys, Rugged Eagle here today, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do your own Minecraft money scoreboard. This is a super easy tutorial, guys, and it is amazing. It is a working operating currency system within your Minecraft world, and it doesn't take long. And also, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do your own shop and currency system to get yourself that bit of shall I say, money, because everyone wants to be rich, everyone wants to be rich. And uh, I'm also going to be showing you guys how to remove them pesky player offline players. Trust me, it's the most annoying thing ever, guys, but trust me, I figured it out, and it's super easy, so make sure you stick around. And, um... Can we try and hit 20 likes on today's video? And uh, if you are struggling with any other commands, just leave a comment down below and I will always reply to you and try and help you out. And uh, yeah, and I just want to thank you all for the support on my Cops and Robbers series and stuff. And if you haven't seen that, what are you doing? Go check it out. There'll be a card up there. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. So uh, let's get into this, shall we? Let's -a go. So guys, this is basically how you actually set up your scoreboard on the right hand side of your screen. So, the first one you'll need to do is actually get yourself a command block. For any of you guys who don't know this, all you need to do is slash give at p and then it's command and then underscore block. So just simply type it in like that if you're on PC, Xbox, whatever, it doesn't matter. Just type it in like so and you'll get yourself a command block. Once you've got that, that's all you need. And it is simple, there you go. Oh, and I've already, I've had, I've had one in my inventory, that's why it gave me two there. So, all you need to do is place one command block down, like so, and just copy in this command. Now, slash scoreboard objectives add money, dummy money. So, basically, you can call that whatever you want. Where I've got it in the hyphen, in the colour, in the speech marks, you guys can call that whatever you want. So, say like your city's called, I don't know, Park City, you guys can call it Park Money or whatnot. That's basically what you can do. And to get it in colour, it is very simple, guys. Just hover over the S on Xbox, hold A on it, go onto this looking S and just put it in and put in any letter you want and it will change the colour, like so. And there you go. So, once you've done that command block, you want to move to this one and copy this down, guys. Slash scoreboard objective, set display, sidebar, money, like so. So you guys can pause the video and copy off the commands, you guys just do that. Then the next one you'll need is slash scoreboard players add at a money zero. Now you can do it where people start off on a hundred, just change that money to a hundred or whatever figure you guys want. But that's basically how you do it. Now, to actually turn it on, let me just go remove the scoreboard real quickly. To actually turn it on, all you need to do is get a block of redstone and start off from the one you did first and just run it across like so. Then break it. Then you have activated it and then it can stay on as long as you want. That is basically all it takes, guys, to just do that. And it is very easy to set up. So, anyway, what we're going to do next is add the ones. I haven't even got buttons on here. God, I am terrible. Now, next is basically adding and getting rid of money. So, say like you want to add 10,000 just so you have the most money because you're the host and you want to be rich like most of us. If you just click the button, 10,000, badding, I'm rich, there you go. So that is basically the command slash scoreboard players, add at p money, 10,000. You guys can pause the video and copy off it here. And these commands are great because I have literally just built a prison server and, oh, it's amazing, guys. If you haven't seen it, make sure you do go check it out. There'll be a card up there, guys, to my prison server. So after you watch that video, please go check it out. I think you guys would like it. And then to remove the money, you just slash global play set at a money zero. That is literally just to remove the money. There you go, my money is gone, now I'm poor. There you go, so guys, you can pause the video and just copy off that right there. So, now for the next one, I'm going to show you guys how to set up a shop. And trust me, it is super, super easy. Believe me, it's so easy. Okay, let's go. So, all this is basically my currency system. I've just used gold because it's simple. So, bearing in mind, I've got 64 gold. Now, I've set it so each gold ingot gives me 10, like, money in the game or whatever. So, you click it, bang, boom, there you go. Straight up, as you guys can see it. There you go. So, all you need is literally two command blocks. It is absolutely stupid, guys. You just need one repeater. So, here you go. Just copy this exact down now if you want a different currency just change that gold ingot to something if it's if it's two words you want to put an uh, underscore in the middle so if you want iron ingots put iron underscore ingot or if you want your currency to be I don't know diamond just put diamond that's it so that's all you want to do 
and then that's basically it you want to put it on repeat needs redstone unconditional that's all you need then what you want to do is make sure the command block arrows pointing into the next one like so guys and all you want to do is set up a chain one slash scoreboard players add at p money 10 that is all you want to do sorry guys my phone's going off I am so sorry. So that's all you want to do. And rain. But literally, if you guys ever watch any of my Minecraft videos, it always rains in my world. Always. So that's all you want to do. And you guys can change that money from 10 to 100 to 1. Whatever you want your currency to give you. Let me put it back as day. You guys just have to change that command. So that is basically how you set up a system. Just pause the video and copy off it. And anyway, next is to actually buy stuff. So you see it's £100 for a diamond sword or $100, whatever you guys are. And then you click it, bang, 100 cost me a diamond sword. Look, I'm on 300 now, bang, 200 diamond sword. Now you can actually do it where it enchants the diamond sword. If you guys want to know how to do that, just comment down below and I'll literally tell you the command blocks. So basically all you want to do is set up a slash scoreboard place, test at P, money, 100 between 19999. It doesn't matter how many nines you have, guys. Just put, just put in about five or six after the one. Just copy off that, and that is an impulse and needs redstone. So next is the slash scoreboard plays remove at p money one hundred. And like I said, whenever that money has a figure, you guys can change it to whatever you want it to be. So that a hundred there can be ten, but leave the one nine nine as it is. So yeah, that is basically how you set it to your own price. And then remove money 100. You guys can even rip them off as well. You can make it test for 100. And then you can make them remove 1,000. You can do a rip off if you want. <laughs> so anyway, there you go. And then slash give at pay diamond underscore sword. Now you guys can change that to whatever you want. So if you want, if you guys don't know commands, just leave it in the comments below. And I'll literally tell you the command to give you whatever item you're looking for. So that is all you need to put in. And you guys can also do it where it affects you as well. Yeah, You could do it like you want to buy superpowers. You click it and you get affected with jump boost and speed. If you guys want to know how to do that, just comment down below and I'll happily help you out. Anyway, for the main one that people wonder, and I wondered this for ages, how to remove an offline player. So basically, when a player joins your game and plays and then leaves, it basically comes up with player offline. And you guys can have a fat list of it. It's absolutely ridiculous. So all you need to do is remove player offline is literally just simply remove the scoreboard. So this is basically it. Slash scoreboard objective, remove money. That will literally wipe out the scoreboard. So let me just click that. Bang. Everything will be gone. And then all you need to do is just redo it again. Like so. And then you've got your scoreboard back. It's as easy as that, guys. Simple as that. So, if you did go to enjoy this video, make sure you do smash that like button. And uh, subscribe and make sure you hit the bell. And make sure you check out some of my other videos. Tomorrow I've got a zombies. I literally made a zombies game mode with all these commands. And it is super amazing. If you guys ever play Black Ops Zombies, it's got the working perk machines and pack-a-punch. It is absolutely amazing. And uh, make sure you go check out some of my other videos. I've got my Cops and Robbers playlist series on the left of me. And uh, go check out some of my others. And I've got my prison server to the right of me. So go check them out. And um, I'll see you guys around. you need any help with any more commands, leave them in the comments. And I always reply. So um, I'll see you around, guys. Peace.